one of the suggestions on the sheet the neurologist gave me of diet and supplements to consider in MS is low-dose naltrexone. LDM was originally developed in the 1980s to help treat people with alcohol and opioid addiction. And in people with multiple sclerosis, it helps some MS symptoms and has few, if any, side effects. Back in the 80s when research was being done on the drug, they found that when naltrexone is given in small doses, it bolsters the production of endorphin, which increases energy levels, and it also increases opioid growth factor. Opioid growth factor in turn inhibits the production of pro-inflammatory T cells and B cells. Subjects with MS who took LDN for eight weeks experienced significant improvement in their overall quality of life, in particular, mental health, pain, and self-reported cognitive function. But in general, people with MS who take low-dose naltrexone feel better and have more energy. Now on the flip side, some people taking LDN report having vivid dreams and early morning awakening. I've been taking it about a week and I can definitely say that it has improved my overall sense of well-being. My legs work better and there's less spasticity in my knees and I have more stamina when walking. Bear in mind, LDN is not a disease modifying therapy, but if you and your doctor decide that LDN is a potential adjunctive therapy, the drug must be ordered from a specialty compounding pharmacy. So you're not gonna be able to pick it up at your local Walgreens, you know what I'm saying? But if you have a compounding pharmacy in your area, talk to your doctor about using LDN and see if they'll write a prescription for you. And if they won't, find another doctor, okay? I've experienced terrible side effects with the meds that the doctors had no problem prescribing to me. So if they won't prescribe this one to you with studies behind it and minimal side effects, it's time to get someone on your team who will. It may or may not work well for you, but chances are it will. And in ways you won't understand unless you try. Now here's a picture of my dog that my wife says I have to put in the next vlog. Okay, bye.